Being at the leading edge of discovery uh, gives one terrific opportunities and the establishment of a cryo-EM center on our campus talks of the importance of the scientific discovery that's underway at our university. It recognizes the superior work being done by our investigators and right here on our campus will be a locus of discovery that will allow us to look at the inner workings of a cell and further cement the reputation UMass um, Medical School has of being um, one of the leading research institutions in the world. We are very lucky to be the first to do this. To be ahead of Harvard and MIT in any technology makes us really happy, but it really puts us on the map in different ways. It allows us to collaborate with all of these institutions and have UMass be the hub of such a technology is amazing. We know that this will expand what we're doing, but it also help the entire state of Massachusetts and New England in general. It's a cutting edge transforming technology that's gonna make our researchers the best that they can be with the tools that they need to be the best that they can be. We'll not only be able to make our researchers who currently are here at UMass better at what they're doing, but it's gonna invite new researchers to join us. This technology is going to be very exciting for all the researchers on campus because we're interested in understanding how life works. And when you boil it down, life is controlled by these tiny molecules that are performing this very complex dance. And we need to observe how that dance is, is being performed. But it's very difficult because these things are very small. It's as if we're watching a dance performance and we're half blind and at the back of a stadium, very far away. And what this technology, the most powerful microscope on Earth, is going to provide us, it's going to, in analogy, bring us up to the front row seats and give us 2020 vision. So now we can see all the dancers and how they interact with each other in exquisite detail. And that will unlock the secrets of how life is, is achieved and how when the dance goes awry, how that leads to disease. And then further, how we could fix that and bring the dancers back into synchronization and fix that disease. <laughs>